In this class, we are going to learn how to create our very first web app within our VB application. So there is a difference between Visual Builder application and the web app what you create within your application. In our previous class, we had created a VB application. Just make a note of this. Let me close the welcome screen. If you just hover over this tab over here, you will see web applications. So in short, web application is nothing but it is the collection of web pages. Suppose if you open the google.com, you will see one screen wherein you can type your query and click on search. So this is one of the page. Like that, Google will have n number of pages in order to show the results and the home page landing screen, so on and so forth. Thing. Like that, in your application, suppose if you are building application with the help of Visual Builder for a shopping website or a shopping customer, then you have to design a welcome page or the landing screen. And also you have to design the offers page product description page, checkout page, wishlist page, so and so forth thing. So in short, web application is nothing but it is the collection of all the pages and the flows. Now, in order to begin creating the pages, we have to create first of all a web application. Click on this and give some meaningful name. I am giving web app. So there is some inbuilt template which we can use while creating the web app. I am going for a blank template. Click on create. Similar steps we can follow in the case of VBS as well. This is the VBS. So if you are using the VBS in order to develop the Visual Builder application, you can follow the same steps. So you will get the similar kind of folder structure in both the cases. This is the standalone VB instance and this is the VBS instance wherein I'm working on the workspace. So let's come back to our Visual Builder. Now, as soon as you create a web page, if you see over here, we will be having one parent web app tab over here under that we will be having couple of things which will be shown in the diagram view in the source view if you see we are having the main that is the flow this section is called as a flow if you see this icon this is a flow icon in visual builder and under that we are having a page so page icon is something like this what you see over here flow in short it is nothing but it is the collection of pages suppose if you have created a flow to show the product related information like the product description product images then you can club under product flow you can name the flow as product and build all the pages for the product over here suppose if you are having a payment related pages n number of pages then you can create one more flow over here and you can provide the flow id called as payment and you can provide all the payment related like asking for the credit card information going for the e-payment gateway and then the authentication so and so forth things and number of things you can think of flow in short it is nothing but it is the collection of pages page in short it is the look and feel or the user interface what you will be developing from users point of view like page in short it is nothing but a page what you see on the website like a product description page like when you search for google.com you will be landing into the search page of the google then that is a page what google has developed for the users so like that you will be developing a page so collection of pages is called as flow and the collection of flows and pages are in short called as the web application which we created just now so another section is fragment suppose in case you want to create some reusable code to give you an example if you're creating a piece of code or the layout wherein you have to show the image or the google maps in every page of your application then you will define the map in one of the fragments over here and provide the same fragment in almost all the pages so that you don't have to rework on your code every time to show the google maps so in this case what is happening is i will just preview this application so let's not confuse i will go in detail what these icons mean for time being i'm just clicking on this preview icon it will launch the page in the new tab in my browser suppose if you see over here there is the footer section so this at the bottom section is a footer section and at the top you see my application and there are few icons this is the header section what oracle has done is they have created header fragment footer fragment and they are appending it in all the pages if we create n number of pages then this header and footer will be added on all the pages so this way oracle has made use of the concept of fragment and reduce the effort of creating this header and footer for each and every page create once and use everywhere is the concept of fragments now coming to the resources in order to show anything on the browser for the user 
the coding must be done in html so html in short takes help of the css javascript and other resources so these things are stored over here by visual builder now coming to the components you can have n number of components coming to the action you can define the actions over here we will touch upon this later suppose if you want to show the images here if you see the image of a box is shown so this is provided by oracle over here and it is referenced over here in the headers coming to the javascript you can have a javascript code over here coming to the translations like my application if you don't want to hard code in the application and if you want to provide in a common place something like this you can provide it over here and coming to the root page there is a shell page over here we will touch upon this shell page shortly there is a great concept behind this shell page in visual builder so this is in short how the folder structure will look like when we create a web app within our visual builder application so this is the folder structure so in our next class we will see what these icons mean and also what and all options we get under this page flow web application and what are these icons all about